welcome to Rocky Railway VBS. I'm Smalls. And I'm Tarzan. And we're excited to be riding the rails with you all summer. We're here to help you sing, have fun, and celebrate Jesus' power. Let's start off with a song about Jesus' power pulling us through. We trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. some commotion around the rail yard about a rock slide last night. That could be really bad. Maybe we can find someone who can help us figure out what happened. Oh, maybe Smalls can help. Hey Smalls. Hey. I didn't know you, uh, you worked on the rails. How did you not know that about me? I talk about it all the time. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. In fact, I just, I don't just work on the train. I drive the trains. Whoa, that means you're an engineer? That's so cool. When you know these trains as well as I do, they become, they become a part of you. Hmm, uh, that's pretty deep, but maybe you can help us. I heard something about a rock slide. You heard right. Some huge boulders rolled all the way down the mountain last night and landed right on our track. Whoa, hmm, that can really cause some problems. It can. In fact, my crew and I were supposed to take an engine down to the mountain this morning. Good thing I'm here to uh, take care of it. You, uh, you really think you're strong enough to lift a massive bull? Oh, okay. Well, uh, why don't you warm up on this rock right here? 
Oh, easy peasy. Like you might want to stand back, you know, in case this thing goes flying. It's okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, so ready. It's useless. It's just too hard. It's funny you should mention that. Smalls, today we're learning that Jesus' power helps you do hard things. We all have hard things to do. It might be taking a big test at school. Or maybe having to say goodbye to a friend. Or maybe it's having to move away and go to another school. You know, see, it's really not the, oh, sorry Smalls. Are you, are you good? Here, let me, let oh, me help gosh. you out. They are just so heavy. Yeah, I know, we kind of already established that you're not that strong. But none of us is strong enough to tackle all that tough stuff on our own. But we have a friend who is, Jesus. Jesus is powerful in every way. He can handle anything. Things that are hard for us on the inside too. Even though life may still seem really heavy, he's always there to share the love. This Jesus guy kinda sounds like a good person to be friends with. Well, I need to figure out how to move those massive boulders off the track. Maybe Jesus can give me the right ideas to know what to do. Tell you what, as soon as I'm done here, I'll come see if we can figure it out today. All right, I will see you later. See you, Smalls. We're imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, and beautiful Rocky Mountains. A long time ago, trains were the fastest way to travel when you had far to go or you needed to go up a big hill. Not many people ride steam trains like this anymore. But maybe you rode on the Via, or taken the GO train, or a subway in Toronto, or maybe you've been on those super cool antique trains that does tours down in Port Stanley. Steam trains get their power from the steam engine. Imagine the steam engine is like, kind of like this tea kettle. When the water on the inside boils, it pushes the steam up and through a hole, and it whistles. Pretty cool. Inventors figured out a way to capture steam and turn it into power. Enough power for a train to pull thousands of pounds over tall rock mountains. Trains have the power to cross miles and miles of desert, carrying things to people who need them. Maybe when you think of power, you think of superheroes who have superpowers like shooting lasers from their eyes or super speed or the ability to control time and space. Or maybe the word power makes you think of someone with huge muscles. Stand up and strike a pose of your best bodybuilder pose. Let's see. Nice. Strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think of when we hear about power. But God has more power than either of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans, and he also has the power to comfort, love, and forgive. This summer, we'll be talking about how we can trust Jesus' power to help us every single day. Each day, we will learn a Bible point an important idea from the Bible for us to remember. Over the next couple of weeks, we'll explore how Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. That's our Bible point. Whenever I saw a Bible point, I want you to yell out, trust Jesus at home. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull through when things get tough. The Bible says, for I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Christ is another name for Jesus. And Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. He gives us the strength when we need the power to get through sadness or confusion or when we're really, really mad. We have a friend who helps us remember this Bible point. But first, I think it's time for another song. This train is bound for glory, this train, this train is bound for glory. 
week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is! Wow, good! But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators, so we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me. It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and keep my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things, too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you his power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That 
that means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. When you see Ramsey, remember that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Everybody has something that comes easily to them. If you've watched any of our videos or been to VBS or camp before, you'll know that sports comes easily to me and dance comes really easily for smalls. There are also things that don't come so easily to us. Things we find really hard to do. As the tape shows, once again, I'm not a great dancer. And Smalls isn't the best at making free throws in basketball. I'm sure all of you can think of something that you're really good at. Maybe you're good at music, or sports, or reading, or art. I'm sure you can think of something that is really hard for you too. Maybe for you that hard thing is music, or sports, or reading, or art. But I'm wondering if there's something hard happening in your life right now. Maybe you're worried what you're going to do this summer. Or you've had a fight with a friend and you wonder if you'll ever be friends again. In my life, I was really worried about how VBS was going to work this year. I didn't know if we could be at the church with hundreds of kids like we usually do. I didn't know if we had to film it, where we were going to film it. Could I do this without all of our amazing volunteers that help us out every year? Or even if we could even do it at all. Everybody goes through hard things. Maybe you've had a really hard test or a recital you were really nervous for. Know that when things get hard, you're not alone because we all go through hard times. And know this too. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. By now, I'm sure that you've put together that our theme for VBS has to do with trains. Sometimes, trains have what are known as observation cars, where you can go look at, discover, and use your eyes to explore all of the scenery around you. You can look at the forest, streams, lakes, mountains, valleys, and at night, you can look up at the stars. I love looking at the stars and the night sky. They remind me of how amazing God is. That's one of the things we're discovering here at Rocky Railway BBS. We're discovering that we can observe God and what he's doing all around us. If we learn to look, we can see evidence of God's love everywhere. Here at VBS, we call these God sightings. God sightings are times in your day where you stop and look for God. It can be anything where you see or feel God. It could be like when you're in an observation car and you're looking at the stars in the sky, or maybe it's when a family member gives you a hug. If you received one of our packages to your door, this is a great time for you to get it out. So I want you to look inside your bag and pull out the envelope that says week one. So it looks like this inside this envelope. So go ahead and you can open it up. Inside this envelope is chalk. And we want you to be able to draw your God sighting outside on the sidewalk. Now, if you have brothers or sisters at home, you can share chalk and hopefully draw a picture of your God sighting all together. We are so excited to be able to see some God sightings out on our sidewalks. Thank you. 
clap your hands. Now stop. I feel it in the air right now. It's all around, I see it everywhere. It's the power. Yeah, yeah, God's power. It's the power to move and it start. It's the power to heal your broken heart. It's the power. Yeah, God's power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. God is here and He is real. Take four steps to the left, to the left. One, two, three, four. Turn it around and move to the right. One, two, three. Now take tiny little jumps, four to the front. We're so glad you came aboard with us as we begin our exploration of the Rocky Mountains here at Rocky Railway VBS. Every year at VBS, we do something called Spotlight VBS, where you get to be the star of the story. So Spotlight VBS is a little bit different this year because you are at home, but you can still get involved. Your parents need to contact us and we will send you an action that you need to take a picture of. So it could be like, put your hands in the air. Yeah, like that. And then your parents have to take a picture. Perfect. They need to send us that picture and we are going to put it in to tell a story that we will show you next week. Is that not super cool? You get to be part of VBS next week. Next week, we're going to keep looking at how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. We're going to keep chugging along, but we hope to see you all next week.